In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to get your DAW, DAW or Digital Audio Workstation working with your new Antelope Audio interface. This time, we're looking at Apple's Logic Pro 10. This is not going to be a getting started with Logic video. There are plenty of sites online that can help you with that. In this video, we're going to look at configuring your new interface, in this case, the new Antelope Audio Orion Studio Synergy Core to work alongside Logic. Then we're going to look at how to configure the Antelope Audio software control panel for basic single and multi-track recording. The first thing we need to do is to tell Logic Pro which interface we wish to use. Go to the Logic Pro X menu, then to Preferences, then to Audio and hit the Devices tab. Now choose Orion Studio 3 as both the input and output device. If the Orion Studio is not listed, please refer back to the first tutorials in this series to make sure your hardware is installed and configured correctly. This is also the location to set up the sample buffer size. As a rule, use a small buffer for tracking and a large buffer for mixing. In the recording preferences, you can set up the recording file type and bit depth. These days, no matter what the sample rate, it's a good idea to be recording at 24 bit for greater plugin resolution. Next, we set up the sample rate for the session or project. Go to File, Project Settings, then to Audio and click on the desired sample rate. The next important setting to check is the clock source. In a basic, single interface setup, always choose Oven. This is the name given to the internal clock of most Antelope Audio devices, with the exception of the discrete range where it's called Internal. In more complex setups where you have other external digital or analog gear being used, you may wish to change the master clock source. This is done from the control panel. However, it is essential that a solid clock source with a single clock master is provided. If you find you're getting clicks and pops in your audio, it is more than likely that there is a digital clocking issue that needs to be resolved, as these clicks and pops will make their way into your recordings. It's worth noting that in this tutorial, the interface is connected to the computer via Thunderbolt. Most of the Antelope Audio range of interfaces also offer USB connectivity. When connected via USB, the clock source icon will display USB. However, the unit will still be using the internal Antelope clocking system. Using the USB connection also locks the sample rate and clock source of the audio interface to that specified by the DAW. A Thunderbolt connection allows manual adjustment of both the sample rate and clock source in the control panel. However, until you're a little more experienced, we advise you let the DAW set these up for you. Logic Pro does not have a routing matrix like other DAW software. It takes its input and output assignment from the routing mapped out by the attached interface. We can now configure the Orion Studio Synergy Core control panel with the input and output connection types that we need. I'm going to show you how to route the 12 mic pre's of the Orion Studio to the first 12 channels of Logic Pro. Think of this as your first steps in configuring your interface. In the Orion Studio Synergy Core control panel, select all 12 preamp nodes in the input section and drag them down to line up with computer record channels 1 through 12. Computer record is another name for your DAW input in the Antelope routing matrix. Let's also make sure that computer play 1 and 2 is routed to our main monitor outputs and our headphones. Think of computer play as the DAW output. This now means that anything set to record on channels 1 through 12 on Logic Pro will be recorded from the corresponding channels 1 through 12 on the interface. Also, anything routed to playback from outputs 1 and 2 in Logic Pro will be routed to the main monitor outs and both headphone outputs on the Orion Studio Synergy Core. 